welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino and on this episode, well, we're starting this episode off at home. I just made myself a coffee. Adam and Twyla are asleep in bed, but I'm a little bit excited because this week we went out and purchased a camp oven and I can't wait to use it. So this episode is not so much about the location. We're probably gonna head up to Mount Franklin because I know they've got a whole heap of fire pits up there and hopefully we can get one and we can test this baby out. But before you use your camp oven for the first time, you need to prep it a bit. So I'm gonna show you how to prep it for the first time before you use it. Also, I'm gonna give you a few tips on how we pack before we go away. We won't be packing much, we're only going away for one night, but it'll just give you an idea and some tips on how to get that done quick and get you out the door sooner. All right, well, talk about getting out the door sooner. Let me show you how to clean this up and then let's hit the road. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get some hot soapy water and you're just gonna wash every nook and cranny of your camp oven to get rid of all those chemicals from the factory. And then we'll give it a rinse and let it dry. Now that we've got that all dry, we wanna get a bit of paper towel, some oil, and you just wanna wipe on the inside of your uh, camp oven and get that all nice and oiled up and the same as on the lid you want to get all that oiled up as well so it's all prepped and ready to go another thing that i've done is i've grabbed an old um pillowcase which i'm going to pop it in there for storage and just to keep it all nice and safe and also so it doesn't bang around in our van so i'm just going to pop that inside this is now ready to go for tonight. I'm a bit excited. So that's the first thing I'm gonna be packing for this adventure. All right, well let's go pack the rest of the stuff. Once I know we're going away for the weekend, the night before I'll charge up my gimbal and also my drone and a battery pack. Now the battery pack has been so important. The amount of times I've nearly been caught out without power. So we take that along. We brought it from Kmart, it was like $29. And um, it has been awesome. So you can charge your phone up to four times on it. You can get ones that even have more power. So anyway, we get all that charged up, all ready to go. Then we'll find a space in our house, which is normally our bench, where we collect everything, put that on there. So that way it, it's only gonna be a few trips out to the van, which is gonna save us time. So let's go put that in that area and let's go grab the next thing we need. Okay, so I've cleared off the bench and I'm starting to collect all my bits and pieces. Now this box here, we keep in our pantry and basically it's a return to sender box. <laughs> Anything we take out of our van and we have to wash or clean or refill, we pop it back into this and again, so we're not going back and forth from the van. And then once everything's done, we probably pop it in this. So then next time we go away, we know to take this whole box with us and everything is in there returning back to the van. Things like tea towels that need to be washed and cleaned, our towels, our actual towels ourselves, um, our coffee, we need to fill that back up for the next trip, um, containers, and then even like our egg container. So we're ready to put the eggs back in there for this trip. And that's that. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the fridge and I'm gonna start getting a shelf ready inside there for our cold bits and pieces. So in the fridge, what I normally do is I'll clear off a shelf and start putting everything we're taking away with us. Now we're taking a little bit extra this stuff. <laughs> We've got a fair bit of stuff because we're doing that roast. Um, so we're doing it over two shelves. So we've got our drinks, cheese, eggs, our sauce, our milk, and this is a piece of meat that I'm hopefully gonna be cooking tonight. Yummo, a bit of lamb, some bacon. We've got um, some cabana there, some different uh, veggies to go with the roast. And yeah, so we're just getting it, collecting it, putting it in that shelf. So then when we go out to fill the fridge, we just pick it all up and take it out in one swoop. This may look like a very simple box, but this is the reason why we get on the road so quick. We pretty much just use this box every time. We fill it up with our clothes, we take it out, that's one trip. Then we do our dry pantry goods, we pop them in, run it out, that's two trips, and then we'll fill it up with our refrigerated goods, take it out, 
three troops and we are on the road. So the best tip I have is having a box similar to this so you can fill it up and you're doing less trips back and forward. Another idea, you can use your washing basket. That's another way to do it, but you don't wanna be going back and forward because you'll be packing all day. We can pack our van in about half an hour um, and be on the road and we can even unpack it in less time. So anyway, I'm gonna go chuck my clothes in now and come back and grab the refrigerated goods. Now it's time to turn on the van power and then also I'm gonna turn on my pump. I'm gonna check my water levels. So the fresh water there has is half full and then our holding tank is half full. So we wanna get rid of that water um, because you don't wanna be carrying extra weight. It's just gonna cost you in petrol. And also we probably need to fill our fresh water up a little bit before heading off. And I'll just make sure the fridge is on. So down here, the little light, yep, it's on. Oh, it's looking a bit dusty. That's camping for you. And um, yeah, so that's on now. So I can start bringing out all the refrigerated goods. So it's not the best weather to be going away in. It's wet and yucky. So I've gone and put together a whole heap of firewood for us. So it's all dry and ready to burn because I don't think we're going to find anything dry. I've even put a towel on the ground because I've been walking in and out of the van and getting it all wet. <laughs> and I've got some jiff here to get the fire started and also a whole heap of old paper to get the fire started as well. And obviously we've got our camp oven. So now I've got all that ready. So I'm just gonna get all that in here and lock down so it doesn't fly everywhere. And um, we are almost ready to go. So we're finally in the car, ready to take off. I have just went across the road to our neighbors and grabbed some rosemary from their garden. Thanks, Steve and Danny for that. And um, Twyla's all buckled in. You ready to go, Adam? Adam had a quick look on Wiki apps to see if we could take you guys somewhere a little bit Wiki different. Camps. Well, Wiki camp, camps. Anyway, the app. The app. The app. <laughs> but we wanted to see if we could take you somewhere different for a change. But um, look, at this short notice, we're just happy to go to Mount Franklin because we know there's fire pits there. And hopefully, because the weather is so bad, it won't be busy and we'll actually get one. Otherwise, we'll be eating raw lamb tonight. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> like in those restaurants that they do it. Yeah. yeah, no, no raw meat. Well, hopefully we get a fire pit. I've got, I brought, like I said, I've packed the wood. It's all there. So let's hit the road. Before we take off, just thought we'd pull in and get some petrol. Just grabbed a toasty from Wild Bean Cafe and a coffee. Adam Twyler there. Already buckled in to go. Let's hit the road. So we've made it to Mount Franklin and you wouldn't believe it. We got the last spot with the last fire pit. That was a close call. So tonight we're eating lamb. <laughs> and we so this is our spot here. So got all the trees behind us. Look how beautiful it looks. Love Mount Franklin. And then over here we've got our chairs set up. And that's our fire pit. And there's about three fire pits along here. And they've got someone at every single one. But anyway, we'll go set the rest of camp up and start thinking about how I'm gonna cook this lamb. So I've just brought out a very rough thrown together, not like how Adam makes them, um, cheese slash cabana platter with a bit of chutney. <laughs> Adam's kicking back having his first wine. Yep. He's settling in for the night. We've got a few hours before we even think about putting the uh, roast on. So I'm just gonna have a wine. We might play a bit of Uno and um, yeah, have some lunch. It's already a bit cold. You're already but cold. Me, I'm feeling hot. <laughs> <laughs> the skies are a little bit blue with a bit of cloud. And um, there's our fire pit looking nice and sexy. All ready to go. Anyway. Cheers. Twyla. Twyla. <laughs> you ready to start the fire? Stop biting my finger. All right, let's go check out the fireplace because I've just set it all up. So, out here, got it all set up and ready to go. I've just done a bit of a pyramid, chucked a couple of logs on, and we're gonna start this in a minute and uh, get our coals ready. All right, well, all right, Adam, it's time to light the fire. 
and get dinner on. So here the we best go. Part's getting the tax documents. <laughs> <laughs> we, brought, we brought our, our old tax documents, so we're burning them <laughs> to get the fire started. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Alright, let's hope I'm good at building fires. Whew. I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll soon see. All right, well, the fire's definitely burning. Now, our next challenge is trying to get this shovel to work. Alan, what are you, what are you trying to do there? <laughs> this it's a, part doesn't worry me, because it, 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 it levels. Tell them what it is. I don't know what it's it a, is. It's a foldable shovel. It's a foldable shovel. And that lev that this part is fine, because obviously that is the, it leans against the back. Yeah. The, the arm, or whatever it is called, this bit. But this folds. So if you go to dig, of that it just yeah. out of natural movement you're just going to do this <laughs> yeah <laughs> so and we need that to move the coal I so did. we can put it on um so put the camp oven on top of it but anyway over here we've got all our bits and pieces to marinate the meat so i'm about to get the camp oven put it next to the fire get it warmed up and then we'll marinate the meat ready to go in All right, so it's time to put some stuff onto the meat. I've got flies everywhere. Hello, camping. So Adam's just put some garlic on and some pepper. Now I'm just gonna do a bit of salt. And also we've got some oil and a little bit of chili. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and our rosemary, hello. <laughs> Nearly forgot the rosemary, Adam. Mm, really? There we go. Twyla's excited. She thinks it's her all the Christmas come at once. The fire is burning good. We've got some coals underneath there, so we're nearly ready to put the meat on the fire. And this is looking good. I'm just taking off the leaves. How good are, are they leaves? Are they, oh no, are what they are they? Leaves? I don't know. It's <laughs> off the stem at least, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, whatever it is is off the stem. Oh, it's, yeah, they're leaves. I'll leave some for the um, veggies as well. Yes, because we're going to put some carrots in, some onion and some potatoes and we're going to pretty much put them in whole. I don't think we'll be really cutting them down and um, now we're just going to pop the oil in. Now I've put foil in there and Adam's just putting all the dressing on it. We've got our coals ready over there. We'll cut our lambs in. <laughs> this is not quite working the way I want it to. There we go. And that is going on those coals. And then I'll pop some on top as well. Okay, we've got our coals on top. I wouldn't mind moving it a little bit more further away from the fire, but I'm a little bit scared our fire is going to go out if I touch it. So I'm not going to risk it and just leave it there. But really, this should be out here but we don't have enough wood <laughs> to be able to do what I want to do. So it looks like this is it. <laughs> so Adam's just getting some fresh coals. Trying to. Well, trying to. <laughs> so we can sit it back on top. Yeah, they look pretty hot, Adam. All right. Next time, I think we need to bring a bigger shovel. Yeah. Adam's just now got to lift it up, pop it on top of the new coals. There goes the kookaburros, and then Adam's just going to put one more shovel's worth on top. Adam now is cutting up the veggies. We're doing them really big and chunky and whole because it gets really hot in there. I was telling Adam, um, I know that from experience. And um, yeah, so nice and chunky. Do you want a carrot, Twyla? She did want some meat. She can smell the meat. Yeah. And then um, we've got a nice big onion there. I'm going to cut that up and put it in there. Yeah, a bit of right. extra flavour. Twyla's not liking her carrot. And um, yeah, it's going good. It's going good. It's over there. You can't kind of see it's behind the wood. 
Um, the wood's burning on one side, the coals are on the other side, so it's looking good. It's looking good. So Adam's now just mixing through the, last, the oil and the rosemary and all the juices from before. And then we're going to head over and um, go get it out and put the veggies in. So I'm just going to head over here. Oh, I hope this isn't too hot. No? Okay. So I'm going to get this out. So that's out now. Okay. And then I'm just going to take that off straight up. And then Adam's just going to turn the meat over. That is looking really good. Smell good. I'll just come around here so I can actually see what we're doing. And let's just hope we've got room for our veggies in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's looking good. Great. Should I turn it upside down like that? Yep. Yep, perfect. Now Adam's just going to place the veggies in. I'm going to be quick because it's going to um, get yeah, on We're just trying to keep the heat in there. Yep. You know, we only got the small one. You can get bigger ones. So if you've got a big family, obviously this is just for me and Adam, even though there's a lot in here for a small container, or small camp oven, I should say. Okay. All right. So that's you it. You get the lid. And I'll go grab the lid. Coming back over here, grabbing this lid. I'm going to leave those coals on there and scrape some off later. And put the lid back on. All right. And we're back on. Some more coals. Yep. Adam's going to get some fresh coals. What are you doing, baby girl? Twyla. Okay. So, why we wait for the veggies to cook, Adam's been sneaky. I was going to save these for a surprise, but he found them. He found the marshmallows, but we haven't got too... Oh, no, that's the flame. There you go. So, now Adam's doing marshmallows on the fire. Twyla's hanging out. She's just chilling. Oh, blow them out. If these are on fire, you can blow them out. Oh, look at that. He's got three... Triple three going. Oh my lord. <laughs> How good's that? I'll leave the last, I'll leave that one to the last. Are they good? Mm. Yep. Mm. Yummo. Yeah. And that's still cooking. All right, so let's open up Adam. Adam's going to grab the meat out. And we're been going to... The meat's been cooking for around two hours. Two hours? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the veggies just over an hour. Wow. Wait, look at that, Adam. Adam's just going to pull out the meat. Look how good that looks. And the veggies are going to stay in there just another minute. Okay. How good that looks. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to pop that back on top. Okay. Cool. And then check out that meat. That looks amazing, Adam. Oh, okay. There's a little burn on that side, but that's been on the bottom. I like mine so, well done. Well, he likes his well done. But how good does that look? Very first time. I know we're not experts. I know we haven't done it completely correct. That probably looks the most correct that's looked all night. But um, yeah, Adam's gonna come over. We're gonna let the meat rest. We've got that so the bugs don't hop on it while it rests. And I think the veggies are right. So we'll go get our plates and we'll start eating. Well, good, well, good job done. Well done. <laughs> I can't think of my words. All right, so Adam's about to cut 
our lamb up. I can't believe how good it's turned out for the very first time. And um, we'll let it rest for a little bit. And now we're just going to cut it up. Yeah, yeah, do a taste, do a taste test, Adam. Let's, let's taste this. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. That's camping. And what do you think, Adam? Tender, nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know you like yours well done. I like mine a bit bleeding, but um. Ooh. Mm. So good. Yum. Okay. It's just literally just melting. It's like, it's like, it's so, um, like soft. Oh yeah, look at it. It's just falling off the bone. It's amazing. Mm. Okay, so this is what we're eating tonight. Look how amazing this looks. Adam, are you happy with what you got? Probably the best potatoes. Wow. Really, crunchy. Really crunchy? Mm -hmm. Love them? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Twyla's loving it too. And I'm about to tuck in. This looks amazing. So happy with our new investment. I should have got the bigger camp oven, I think, <laughs> for our friends when they come along. But anyway, let's eat. All right, well, that was one delicious dinner. Now, this is why you put foil inside your um, camp oven, because look at this. The only mess I have to clean up is this oil. So a big soapy wash, um, and it's all going to be cleaned up. That's it. That's simple as that. And then um, obviously a bit of dust. So how good's that, Adam? As Adam wipes our dishes. <laughs> it's getting a bit windy and cold out here, so we might start packing up and heading inside. But uh, yeah, how easy is that? I should have thought about tin foil a long time ago. Now we're finished eating. I've just moved the van into a better position. Our feet are now pointing down while we sleep tonight, rather than me rolling off the bed on Tad. <laughs> it's a better bed, a lot better position. Plus Twyla needs to go for a little walk and go to the toilet before we head in. It's a bit windy, as you probably can tell by the sound. Um, yeah, the winds has picked up and it's got a bit cold, but all in all, the weather has been fantastic. I can't believe the storms we've had in Melbourne this week and how lucky we've gotten because most people would have said, nah, we're not going to camping. But me and Adam got this attitude of, you know what, the amount of times they get it wrong, you may as well give it a go. Anyway, oh, Tyler's having a wee. <laughs> we're in, that's good. <laughs> That basically means we get to go back to the van tonight. We don't have to come back out um, at 11 o'clock at night. Yay! Anyway, we're just going to keep walking around, having a look and um, checking out everyone's vans and tents and caravans. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to head back inside for the night. Well, after a long day, mm -hmm. we're heading off to bed, aren't we, baby? Yep. And uh, Twyla, look, <laughs> she is so tired. Mm. She's had a big day. She's had a big day. Haven't you, Twyla? Yep. She's Easy fast weekend. asleep. And this is how she sleeps every time. She'll stay there, and then later on she'll go down there, and then she'll go back there. <laughs> but she likes to cuddle under the blankets and use Adam's um, arm as a pillow. Anyway, mm. I'm going to turn the light off. Good night. Good night.
morning. Morning, Twyla. Time to get up. Good morning. morning. <laughs> Ready for another day? Uh, How'd you sleep? No, I kept waking up. Oh. Play Twyla, moving too much. Yep. Jumped between beds last night. Yep. Your side, then my side, then your side. Mm. <laughs> I think it's time to take someone for a toilet run, Twyla. So we just had coffees. We're not going to have breakfast here. We've decided we might head into Dalesford and go to Dalesford Lake for breakfast and just for another view. But this place is gorgeous. Now, I know this video isn't so much about Mount Franklin itself. I'll listen to those birds. Um, but it is a beautiful place to come to. It's free camping. There are drop toilets. We have done two other episodes here. One, we just popped in for one night. Another one we'll hear for a couple of nights. Um, so yeah, I'll link them after the video. So if you stay, you can click onto the video and watch that after this if you want. But otherwise, this is Mount Franklin. Thank you for having us again. It has been great. And just make sure if you do come here and enjoy it, to take everything with you or your rubbish um, and leave it beautiful for the next person. Anyway, I'm gonna hop in the van, head down to Dalesford. So we've just rocked up to Dalesford Lake. We've got a park and it's not too bad. So that's our view to have our breakfast. Not too shabby at all. So we just put on some bacon and eggs, and some mushrooms, just made some more coffees. Then Adam's just outside playing with Twyla. And there's been people swimming out there in the actual lake. It must be so cold. But yeah, Twyla's having fun. All right, well, I better go check on the food. Getting there. Well, it's all ready. It's looking good. Here you go, Adam. My coffee. Yeah, you want your coffee? I'll get it for you now. I'll get this it's not as full. There we go. One more time. We just finished eating and packed up the van and we're just going for a walk around Dalesford Lake. This place is beautiful. Um, one thing I recommend, there's two cafes here so you can check them out. Or if you're coming for lunch in town, there's a really good fish and chip shop. You can grab some fish and chips, come down, bring a picnic rug. And this place is awesome. And you can do the whole circuit around the whole lake. Also, there is a little bit off the beaten track, um, not too much. Um, there's a natural spring, so you can taste the natural spring waters. But otherwise, and yeah, if you really want to, you can do what these guys are doing and go for a swim over there, <laughs> have them swim. And we just seen another two people hop on um, some boards and they were just paddling along. So yeah, nice, beautiful place, especially come down for either breakfast or lunch. Anyway, want to keep going with our walk. So we've just headed down to the Dalesford Market 
Now, I don't know if this is on every week or if it's every second week, but I'm sure if you look it up, you'd find it. We got probably the best park in the house. We're just literally here. And this is a market. Uh, quite a few people and it's quite busy. So pretty much the market's got everything you can think of in a normal market from food to plants to clothing to brick and brack, a bit of everything from new and old. So yeah, definitely, definitely a place you should come visit. And uh, now if we decide to eat something, I don't know what we're going to eat because there's so many good different foods here. But anyway, we'll keep looking around. These look good. Tyler's probably going to want some. You want a bit of sausage? So what'd you get, Adam? What what is it? Just a beef, pine. just beef, beef, onion, cheese, mustard. Mmm, yum. Well, guys, it's another end of an episode now make sure you click the little circle when it comes up wherever it's going to come up and that will subscribe you if you've got friends that don't know about us let them know and otherwise we will see you next week for another adventure five o'clock on sunday all right guys have a good week bye